YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's up, baby? We're back in this thing again for another review. This is Q's Insight. I am Kelly, and today we're going to be talking about She Hawk episode three entitled The People versus uh, Emil Blonsky. All right, or aka Abomination. Um, well, if you've been to the channel before, you already know how we do it. We started off with the premise, three favorite scenes, the great. And then we on to that X, right? So, again, She-Hulk, episode three, entitled The People vs. Emil Blonsky. <sighs> Bruh, let me just say that first. So, we pick up with Jen going to talk to Emil Blonsky about escaping and fighting and uh, him being caught on camera and, you know, basically it being shown throughout the world on the TV. He explains he was forced to leave his cell um, by Wong, but returned because, um, you know, he knew it was the right thing to do. So even though he left, it wasn't on his own accords, but at the same time, he returned to a cell on his own accords. So, you know, um, but yeah. Then he tells Jen about Wong, um, you know, like I said, and well, that that's what I just said, actually. So basically, she figures because of what he told her about Wong, maybe she can get Wong to be able to be like a, you know, um, a witness and, and help him out when he does his um, when he when he when he's on his trial in order to get re-released to uh, the public or the world whatever you want to say right um so we see on the news um that it's spreading around that jen will be representing mr blonsky and um so jen goes to work she meets up with nikki and then she ends up getting a call into mr holloway's office and she is called in there in order to um possibly help out this guy named Dennis and um, she knows this guy Dennis they have history together and basically um, for his situation he's trying to sue this like magical shape-shifting elf from uh, from Asgard or something like that right and he's trying to get hundred and seventy five thousand dollars from her back from her because he spent that on her or something like that whatever and his whole thing was that because she's a shapeshifter she turned into meg the stallion and he thought he was really dating meg the stallion and then that's why he gave her all this money and so he's just trying to get the money back bruh are you like come on my g <laughs> So, anyways, bro. So we got that case going on simultaneously with the case with Mr. Blonsky, right? So, uh, we see the case starting with Dennis, and we see the case starting with Jen when she's representing uh, Mr. Blonsky, right? So Wong ends up showing up late, but he does show up and he talks to the people about what specifically took place and what happened. And um, that basically helps them to, um, you know, feel more so like uh, open to re to re-releasing uh, Mr. Blonsky, right? Um, and I, I'm 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 skipping quite a bit of things because this, yeah, this wasn't that chief. Um. So, anyways, long story short, bro. Uh, Dennis wins his case. All right, Jen wins her case. But the whole thing is that Mr. Blonsky cannot turn into the uh, abomination anymore. 
And if he does, then they'll probably take him back into custody. All right. Um, then we got this scene where Jen goes home and she gets attacked and she beats up the attackers and we the attackers end up like going back into this car and they end up one of the people that are in the car ends up asking one of the guys like, hey, did you get like the blood from her? And then he's like, no, I couldn't get the blood from her because she turned into like She-Hulk. So, the, you know, the needle is not going to go through her skin. And then uh, that was basically it. Then we had a cut. We had a credit scene at the end where I guess Meg the Stallion is going to let, you know, Jen represent her. And they're just basically in Jen's office and they are twerking. And uh, that's it. All right. That's basically the 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 best uh, summing of, of 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 what happened in this episode, bro. I did not think that I was gonna find another show that I didn't like from Marvel. Hawkeye, I was critical on that, and I I brought I brought the pain to that, right? This is worse than Hawkeye, the Hawkeye show. Miss Marvel, I didn't necessarily think that that was gonna hit the way <coughs> like it did hit me. I thought I wasn't gonna like the show and all stuff like that. I ended up thinking liking the show. I ended up thinking it was okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, was it the best show? No, but I, I thought it was okay, and I, there were certain things about the show that I did, like, enjoy. She-Hawk is worse than that. Like, She-Hawk has been the worst thing that Marvel has let out thus far, bro, as far as the TV shows go. Like, you know, episode one, I, I kind of gave it, like, you know, I was like, yeah, it's all right, you know what I'm saying? And depending on how they fix things up, you know, like, I can I can see this being, like, dope, you know what I'm saying? Episode two, uh, okay, well, you know, we work with it, we work with it. Episode three, no, 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 bro, no, no. And you mean to tell me that we only have probably, like, what, two or three more episodes left? We haven't even, like, jumped in, like, to any of the serious storyline, bro. We haven't even, like, really met any of the, like, like her, the, the character that she's going to be going against, the villain character. We saw her briefly in episode one. Haven't seen her since, bro. Haven't seen her since, bro. Like, this is such a waste of time. This is such a filler show. Like, there is nothing good about this show at all, bro. Like, it just, it's horrible. And the way that they, like, like, just, just portray men in this show is, like, horrible, bro. Like, not everybody's going to look at Shorty, bro. Like, no. Like, come on. Not everybody's going to be like, oh, like, it's not like that in, in, in real life, bro. And, like, the fact that y'all trying to do that. Just to like not even not even like bring women up like you got her twerking the Meg the Stallion song with Meg the Stallion at the end of the like episode, bro. Like, what is what is pushing this this woman movement forward about this season about this show? Nothing, completely nothing, bro. It's just nonsense. They just they just downplay the man and they just make Jennifer look like she you know what I'm saying she's going through the worst stuff in the world when she hasn't like. And it's just all for what? Like, what? what is the big push from this show? Like, how is it helping representing women in the right way? Like, there's, no, there's, nothing, there's nothing positive to this show, bro. It's very, very horrible. Like, it's such, such, such a filler show, bro. Like, there is no substance to this show. There's nothing. Like, the only thing that I can find that's real substance is the fact that we're getting introduced to She-Hawk. Is the fact that we may have cameo, no, that we do have cameos from Daredevil, it just hasn't happened yet. Um, that we tied in, you know, the situation with uh, Abomination being on Shang-Chi. Um, and also that we basically are seeing the setup of World War Hulk or Planet Hulk. Within seeing Hulk take off in that, in that ship and going to wherever he's going, you feel me? Um... But that's 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 not really like 
that's not what this show should be setting up. This show should be setting up She-Hulk in an outstanding and amazing way. And it just is totally falling flat. And I'm I, the people that I watch on YouTube, bro, you know what I'm saying? And I love them. You feel me? Like Tyrone Magnus, you know, Angry Joe, um, you know, Ecomog, our uh, Struggle Nation, now they go by. Um, you know, they're, they're enjoying the show and, you know, everybody has their own opinion, but this episode, man, like now you, you have to see what I'm feeling. You have to see what everybody else is feeling. You, you have to, you have to like, this is not, this is not it, bro. This is not it. You may get a couple laughs here and there on this episode, but not really. Like I've really only laughed like four or five times for the whole three episodes, bro. The whole three episodes, like, there's not, there, it's just, it, it's, it's, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. And, like, I just, like, when I was watching this episode, I didn't even want to take notes. Like, I just wanted the episode to be over with, like, straight up. And I ain't gonna lie. I just, I was like, yo, this is trash, like, whatever, you feel me? And I just feel like that's the, re that's the way that the rest of the season's gonna go. Like I said, there's only two or three more episodes left. So what else can you do to really like sway me over and not just me, but just the general fans that are watching this show? Like, what can you do to sway them over to make them think like, oh, whoa, well, you know what I'm saying? Like they ended strong and everything like that. But the first three episodes was trash. Like there's nothing that you can do. Like it's, it's already set to fail and it's just going to fail. Like, and I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying, if you do like the show and I'm coming down on it, you know what I'm saying, like, you're, it's okay to like the show, just like it's okay for me to not like the show, you know, and I don't have anything against women's rights and, you know, the whole stand that they're taking and, you know, the whole approach of them trying to get, you know, be equal to men, because I think that they should be, I think that they should be that, you know what I'm saying, and we have demoralized women um, in the past with TV shows and movies and stuff like that as well, and it was wrong to do, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, I just don't feel like they should be doing it back to us right now. Like, you, 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 you fix the problem with the correct way, right? You don't fix the problem the correct way and then go back and do what the other people was doing to you, right? Because that that just makes you just as just as you know, as a schmuck as as the others, right? So. It's just, I mean, bro, it's just, it's, it is what it is, man. Like, I'm, I'm gonna finish watching the rest of the season. I'm gonna watch other two or three episodes. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, bro, that they can sway me the right way. But just the way that I feel, like, this is going to be the weakest Marvel show. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I, and I really wouldn't be surprised if they cancel She Hulk's character completely, or if they recast her and just do like a movie later on down the line. But I'm talking about later on down the line, cause they just. You had your chance to kind of do it right here, and it's, you know what I'm saying, it's not really working, bro, so. But anyways, man, this episode, bro, I, it's going to be the lowest rating that I've ever given for a TV show or movie, you feel me, like, and it is what it is, you know what I'm saying, it really just is what it is, it, it, it deserves this grade, you know, and that's a 4 out of 10, I, I'm, I'm going to give this episode a 4 out of 10, bro, um, if you guys saw the episode, let me know what you guys thought about it below. Did you enjoy it? Cause I just I, and if you did enjoy it, please t tell me why you enjoyed it. Cause I'm, I'm I'm having a hard time figuring out like how people could enjoy this. Like it's it's really 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 just trash. Like it it deserves a hefty bag, and they'd be thrown into like you know what I'm saying like the like in a furnace or something like that. You know what I'm saying, but. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments down below. All right, please remember to, like I said, 4 out of 10, bro. 4 out of 10. We ain't changing that. Um, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. As always, this is Q's Insight. I'm Cali. Till next time.